Wow, you guys actually made a tier list for all the WoW races. All right. So guys, today we are going to do the tier list for all of the playable races in World of Warcraft. So what? Sh how should I rate them? Before I, before I get into it, how should I rate them? Because sh should I rate them based off of their lore, their effectiveness, or whatever? Their coolness, their race, that's boring. Um, the racials will be, all right, looks and racials and storyline, okay? So for trolls, trolls are the, the shittiest race in World of Warcraft. They're complete trash. Every single time that the story advances is whenever the trolls get fucked in the ass. They are the dumbest race in the game. And because of that, I'm going to give trolls a B. Trolls are going to go right to a B, all right? So that, that's pretty much where I'm at. And, uh, yeah, that, that I think does make sense. Now, obviously, let's go over here and we're going to look at these blood elves or high elves because we have to specialize. Let's just say they're blood elves, okay? So blood elves are basically crackheads that are addicted to the Sunwell magic. And Kael'thas is their dealer. And then finally that guy got overthrown and now they're just kind of doing their own thing. So I'm going to put blood elves... I'm going to say blood elves are... I'd say an A. I think blood elves are an A. This seems pretty accurate to me, guys. What do you think? Yeah, this seems very, very good to me. All right, let's go ahead and we'll look at the other ones. Now, the next one are the goblins. I do think the goblins are... I, I do really like the goblins. As I said, I really enjoy the storyline of the goblins. They're really funny. They're interesting. They're cool. I, I think goblins are... I think goblins are somewhere around like the B range, the B to C range. So I'll put goblins at a, a high C for now, okay? Yeah, goblins are going to be at a high C. Now we have Pandaren. Now let me go ahead and be completely honest with you here, okay? I have literally no understanding of how the Pandaren storyline works. I have no idea of what happened in the Pandaren storyline. I don't know if... I, I don't know anything about it. And you know what else? I don't care to. Pandarens, pandas, should have never been the, in the game. Pandaria should have never been in the game. It is ridiculous, the fact that they even considered doing this. Like, it is so stupid. It is the dumbest idea I've ever heard in my whole life. They are complete trash. They should have stayed as an April Fool's joke. Now, the Dark Iron Dwarves. The customization for the Dark Iron Dwarves, I think, is really, really fucking cool. I really like Dark Iron Dwarves, and I think they are probably one of the... Uh, they're probably one of the coolest races out there in terms of the way they look. The racials are really cool. And I like BRD, it's my favorite dungeon. Classic WoW BRD is my favorite dungeon of all time. So I'm actually going to put the Dark Iron Dwarves, I'm gonna be real with you guys, I'm gonna put the Iron Dwarves at an A. And I think, honestly, they could even go up to an S. Like, they, they could 100% go up to an S. Yeah, these are really, really good. Now the Kul Tiran. I think the Kul Tiran are fucking stupid. I think the entire idea of the Kul Tiran is fucking stupid. I think it was just purely a plot device to add in a new type of human into the game. I think the females are... <sighs> a little bit too chubby. It's not, not necessarily ideal, but it's okay. Uh, they're very thick. Yeah, they're, they're very thick. And... At least for them, you can say they're big boned. Because if I remember right, the logic in this is that the Kul Tiran literally mated with Drust, right? And that's why they're bigger? I, I think that's the story? Is that it? They just live in America? <laughs> no, dude, that's not it, man. Kul Tirans are in a... Yeah, so this is... So these are the, uh, this is the American race, and wow. All right, I'm going to put Kul'Tirans as a D. I think Kul'Tirans are kind of stupid. Now, 
Light Forge Draenei. Let's go ahead and we'll move on to the next one. So the Light Forge Draenei. I think we're going to do... We'll do this here. And then we're going to do this here. So basically, uh, they're, they're fighting the Army of the Light. It just seems ridiculous and stupid. It, it's such a... It, it's basically just a reskin of the existing characters. Like, I, I, I don't know. It, it just was boring to me. There was nothing new about them. They were just trash. Like, it was such a a random race to add into the game. Like, the High Mountain Torin made sense. Uh, the other ones made sense. Like, the Void Elves made sense. The Night Fallen kind of made sense, I guess. But the Light Forge Draenei were like, Oh, uh, yeah, these are Draenei, but they're yet no. Give me a fucking break, man. Give me a fucking break. Void Elves didn't make sense? You're right, they didn't. Yeah, Void Elves did not make sense. I thought they were dumb. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna rate Void Elves, but I think Void Elves are a little bit cooler. So we're gonna put Void Elves at like a B. Because I do like the way they look. They do look really, really cool, okay? Yeah, they, they do look really cool. Okay, the racial's are OP. I think the racial's are really cool. Now, High Mountain Torrin. I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. I think High Mountain Torrin are fucking awesome. I love High Mountain Torrin. High Mountain was, I, Stormheim aesthetically was my favorite, but High Mountain was my favorite storyline in all of Legion. And it's not even close either. It was so cool, and the, uh, the, the paintings on them are so cool. It gave them an opportunity to add back in the old, remember the totems that the Tauren would carry around in Warcraft 3 and they'd beat the fuck out of people with them? Dude, I used to love I loved High Mountain. I love the High Mountain Torrin. I think the charge thing that they have is good. Everything about High Mountain is, is, dare I say it, lit. I'm going to give High Mountain Torrin an A, or sorry, an S. I really like the High Mountain Torrin. They're one of my favorite races. I think they're really, really cool. Now the Maghar Orcs. The Maghar Orcs, the reason why I like them is kind of it's kind of like a weird reason why i like them is because they gave you all of the all of the orc they gave you all of the orc customization options that you always wanted like you always wanted to have an orc with like the fucking handprint on his face like fucking the uruk high or yeah the, the uruk high in in lord of the rings you always wanted to have an orc that, that had the hairstyle of gromash they added that in with these characters. And because of that, I'm going to give the the Maghar Orcs an A. I think they're an easy, easy... It's the easiest A that's ever been easy. Humans are a D. Well, let's see. All right, so we got humans. Now, humans are effectively malformed Vikral that are literally a curse to the Vikral race because of how weak they are. In my opinion, I'm going to give the humans, I don't know. I mean, I think I'm going to put them at like a C. I'm going to say humans are like a C, guys. What do you think? I think they're cooler than the goblins, but they're not as cool as the void elves i i think the vo actually i don't know maybe the void elves should go down to a c what do you think yeah yeah i think i'm gonna move the void elves down to a c because they were they didn't really make a whole lot of sense um okay so let's see here now we have the night fallen the night fallen this might be an unpopular opinion okay but i think the night fallen were fucking stupid it made literally no sense to me that they got added into the horde after all of their main people that they're the closest like relation to are night elves and then they just went to the horde i think the night fallen were just an excuse to give horde elves again and i'm tired of that and i think they're stupid i think they look stupid i think they act stupid i think they are stupid everything about them is stupid and i'm gonna actually put them there's nothing that can be worse than a panda, right? But if there was anything to even be close, 
it would absolutely be the fucking the the, the night falling or night whatever the fuck dude they're hot as fuck no they're they're garbo they are absolute garbo man pandas deserve an s yeah um if s was the worst if s stood for shit then yes they deserved an s all right next are the zandalari trolls i really like the zandalari trolls and to be honest, the Zandalari trolls are the only cool trolls of all of the troll kingdoms. Like, they're the only ones that have any degree of self-respect. Like, the, none of the other trolls have any self-respect. They are just e embarrassing clowns. So, I'm going to give the Zandalari trolls, I'm going to put them as an A. Because they're better than the original trolls. Like, literally almost anything is better than the original trolls. The troll above human? Yeah, in terms of lore and everything, I do. The Imani trolls? <laughs> the Imani trolls got cucked over like 50 times, man. They're clowns. The Zandalari are the only ones that are cool. Alright, now you have the dwarves. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I love the dwarves. I think they're fucking amazing. It's probably one of my favorite races in the game. Whenever I make a new character, I, 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 I'm gonna have to give the dwarves an S. I love the dwarves. I think they're super, super cool, man. I'm a big fan of the dwarves. I think they're probably, if anything, probably my favorite race. It's hard for me to say, but I'll, I'll put them as my, uh, I'll put them as in front, okay? Actually, hmm, okay, yeah, we'll go with that. All right, so the Night Elves. Now, I'll be honest with the Night Elves. I think the Night Elves are... The storyline of the Night Elves is relatively interesting. I think they're like a, a, a high B, a low A. They're, they're like a high B, a low A. What do you guys think? Yeah, a high B, low A. I'll put them in front of the trolls. And that is... Uh... Uh... It's hard to say. Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go with that for now. Okay. So next, uh, I've got to, yeah, drain eye. Oh, they, they, all right. So the gnomes. Where did the gnomes come from? Because I actually don't know where the gnomes came from. They're just these little small things. They came from Nomergon. The curse of flesh. So it was the same thing. So gnomes are just like smaller dwarves, right? There, there's nothing else really besides that. It's just, they're just smaller dwarves. Yeah, the thing is with gnomes, right, is everybody that plays a gnome is almost always obnoxious. And this is something that you can pretty much be certain of no matter who you talk to. If they play a fucking gnome, they're probably obnoxious as shit. I don't know what it is about it, but gnomes are just... There's something about people that play gnomes... I just can't do it, man. I, I just I just can't fucking do it. Like there's there's something about it. they always think that they're funnier than they are. And I think that's the that's the main thing. Is that I literally like remember a crack monkey? <laughs> Real funny. It's like a it's like a monkey on crack. He's jumping around putting dots on everybody. <laughs> you know, that and that was what I had in my head whenever I, I thought this shit up. Like I was the same damn thing. I was the same goddamn motherfucking thing. So, we're gonna put gnomes... I'm gonna put gnomes down here at a fucking C, dude. Gnomes are stupid as fu- I hate gnomes, man. Like, I've always hated gnomes. They're dumb. You lower- you think I'd take them even lower than that? Honestly, I might. I might, I might have to re-, re I think this is about- it's- it's alright. Uh, maybe- maybe a D. But they're definitely better than Kul Tiran. I mean, anything is better than Kul Tiran. So, yeah, we're gonna go with that. Okay, so the last ones are the Draenei. Okay, so... The Draenei are literal space goats that came from a faraway land in a rock that's a spaceship. 
Now, in my opinion, I think it's dumb. I, I think it's it's a dumb story. Like it's it's just stupid. Like I get that. Like yeah, they came from Outland, but like how did they get a spaceship to move around? Why can nobody else do a spaceship? I think it's dumb. So here's what we're gonna rate the drain eye. Okay, we're gonna give the drain eye a C. And that's about where I'm at. Yeah, I, I think that's that's pretty much where we're at. Now the Wargren. The Wargren were created because of interdimensional dogs that bit them, and then now they can turn into dogs. Do you know what I'm going to rate the Wargren? I'm going to rate them a big fucking G. And the reason why I'm rating them this low is not actually because of the race of the characters. And here's why. Listen to me. This enabled furries in WoW. Before you had the Wargren, it was like, ah, you know, there's Torin, kind of, right? But the Wargren, they enabled it. They were like the stamp of approval that Blizzard gave all of the furries. And they said, listen, this is for you. I am not gonna do I'm not I'm not okay with it, man. The Wargren, they they allowed this to happen. The level boost, yeah, there's that too as well. Yeah, the furry baiting. Panda furries? Yeah, but the thing is the Wargren came first. The the, the Wargren were the ones that opened the door. They opened the door. The pandas, like I, you know, they were just like whatever. The Wargren, here's the problem with the Wargren. Is that if you look at different people, like every time that I tweet something bad about Stormounts, look for the replies, and any of the people that are supporting the replies usually have furry avatars, right? So click on that furry avatar and look at the picture. The picture of those furry avatars looks so much closer to the Wargren than people do to the fucking pandas. The pandas are not really... So the reason why this is it, okay, let me explain this, right? Is that... The way that furries, so furries don't just want to fuck a wolf, right? And you have people that are like all, all on the spectrum of being a furry. The, the way that it is, is that furries exist on a spectrum. There are people that are like, they really like fucking things that look almost just like the actual animal. And other people that just like girls with like, uh, you know, like cow ears or like girls with cat ears. Okay. So, and, and like everything else is just like a normal girl. So, there's a spectrum. The problem with the furries is that the furries were so close to that mainstream spectrum of what furries normally get into that they allowed furries to see this and think to themselves, the cow ears, yeah, whatever, right? Oh, I'm saying, a cow grows. Look, you get what I'm saying. They, they, they look just like some of the furry avatars. Now, the pandas don't. The pandas are really just panda people. They're not really that sexualized in the same way that the that the Worgen females are. Like, the Worgen females, they look like... They look more so like female humans, but they just have fur on them. Whereas the pandas just look like pandas. You understand? Like, true. Okay, true. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Good. I I've thought about this a lot. All right. Where did the orcs even come from? Where, where, where did where, where did the or where did the orcs ever come from? They came from Draenor. But yeah, but how did they become orcs? How did the orcs become orcs? Saruman created them. Oh, I remember that. We're going to put orcs as a B race. They are a just solid B race. Nothing too exciting about it. Just a, a solid B race. Somewhere around there. Ogres? Wait, ogres didn't turn into orcs, did they? I don't think they did. Orcs are just a native race to Org to Draenor. So I think they're two separate races, man. I'm pretty sure they're two separate races. They're devolved ogres, which came from Ogron, which devolved from Gron. Look, all right. I, I, don't, I don't know. Uh, orcs are all right. I think they're kind of cool. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put orcs in front of night elves. I think night elves are stupid. Uh, orcs are way cooler. 
yeah, orcs are definitely way cooler, and um, they they're not hitting in the A category because all of the all of the races in the A category don't take L's. Like the the B category takes L's all the time. Like night elves takes L's all the time. Like the, the Xandari trolls don't take L's. Uh, the 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 fucking Maghar orcs don't take L's. All right, so next one, the undead. I like the um. The, like, the nihilism element of the undead. I think that's really cool. But what I don't like about them in-game is that you only get undead... It doesn't make any sense. Like, you only get undead humans. You don't ever get undead dwarves, really. You don't ever really get undead uh, night elves. You don't get any of the other undeads. It's just humans. The death knights are a little bit different. Because they're ghosts? I think that's weird. So I would be... I, I would be... I'd say that the undead... I, I know why they do it. It's just for, like, visual clarity. It makes sense, but it is still disappointing. So I'm going to say that... They're undead night elves? What do you mean? Sylvanas raised them? Uh, I don't know. Like, where are the undead night elves? Because Sylvanas isn't even a Forsaken. She was a Banshee. And she's just wearing her own skin. The Dark Rangers. Oh, that's true. That is that is a, that is a big true. That's very very big true. Okay, I didn't think of that. All right. So the undead. I'm going to say are probably. I'm going to put the undead as an A. I think the undead are really cool. The undead were my first. Uh, the first character that I ever made in WoW was an undead. Yeah, I, I really, really liked the undead. I thought they were awesome. I was a huge fan of the undead. Yeah, big fan of the undead. Now, Torin, the last one, Torin. I like Torin. I think they're cool. I'm uh, not super into them, but uh, I do think they're cool. I think the Torin are probably some of my favorite races in the game. To be honest with you, I, I really, really, really like Torin, and I like their like kind of. It's like the the, the tribalistic element of it. And there's nothing that's really bad about the Torin, I feel. So I don't know. Like, I, I think it's this is an S race for me for sure. Torin are an S for 100%. The only thing that I have to decide is that are they better than dwarves or not? Okay. Let's do this. And. I think this is pretty much accurate. There you go. What do you guys think? I, I feel like this is a pretty accurate, a pretty accurate list. You guys like the list? Does it look good? Torn suck. Where are the Volpira? Okay, I will put in a few of the other ones as if they were added in. Not, I mean, I'm, clearly they're not added in, but I will put them in as if they were. Okay. So let's just take a look and see what they would even be. So the first thing you have are the, let's say these are the mechanomes, okay? The mechanomes, I think, would probably just be like a, about the same as the gnomes. I think they're just kind of dumb. The mechanomes would be a D. The Vulpira would also be a G. And I think they would be slightly better than the, uh, they would be slightly better than the Worgen, but only slightly, like, because they're both furry races. That's all there is to it. Yeah, they're both furry races. For classes? Do the class. All right, you guys really want me to do the class tier list. All right, I, I will do the class tier list. Blood Death Knights. My opinion? I think Blood Death Knights are one of the coolest specs in the entire game. I love Blood Death Knights. I think they are absolutely badass, and they are 100% an S tier. Now, Frost Death Knights. I actually don't like Frost Death Knights. I think Frost Death Knights are boring, and I think that they are not... They don't fulfill the Death Knight fantasy for me in the way that I believe Death Knights should be. And the way I look at it is that, like, Death Knights need to be really slow-moving, and by the time that they actually get to you, they do a ton of fucking damage. Frost Death Knights don't do that. I think they're trash. 
I'm gonna put a Frost DK at a C. I'm putting them at a fucking C. Arthas? Yeah, and Arthas got his ass beat. Now, Unholy Death Knights, I think, are way cooler than Frost Death Knights. I like how they spread diseases, they feel more unique, and they remind me of the original Warcraft 2 Death Knights. And you guys have to understand it, Warcraft 2 Death Knights were one of my favorite fucking elements of lore in, like, all of WoW. So just keep that in mind. I think Unholy DK is probably an A tier, or maybe even a... The original Wrath of the Lich King on Holy DK was absolutely S tier. It was fucking amazing. Everything about the original Wrath of the Lich King DK for Unholy was so fucking fun, man. Like, everything about it was amazing. It was OP as shit. But overall, I would say DKs, Unholy DKs are probably around like an A. This is where I would put the DK races. Uh, I'm just, I'm not going to rate the classes. I'll just rate the specs, okay? So now we have Havoc Demon Hunters. I think Havoc Demon Hunters play extremely well. You guys think they're a D? I don't think they're a D. I think Havoc Demon Hunters are very well designed. They're obviously extremely powerful. But the way that they can turn into the Metamorphosis form, how much do does, does Havoc Demon Hunter, how much does it encapture the idea of what a Demon Hunter is supposed to be? Because I think that it captures the idea of what a demon hunter is supposed to be really well. Like, I, I really think that it does a great job. This might sound crazy, but I think Havoc Demon Hunter is an S tier spec. I think that the movement that it has, the abilities, and how few there are with the abilities, but how well they fit together, I think that they are 100% an S tier. And also on top of that, they can jump around, they have the eye beam they can turn into metamorphosis form, they can do the blade dance. They're fucking badass, man. Demon hunters are really cool. But if you guys want to feel any better about it, Vengeance Demon Hunters, I think, are a fucking D. I think that they just added those into the game because they felt like Demon Hunters needed to have at least two specs. Because there are no Vengeance Demon Hunters in the game. There is nothing about this in the lore whatsoever. They're completely fucking dumb. They make no sense whatsoever. Oh, Vengeance Demon Hunter. So he's a big demon and you get to hit him. Get the fuck out of here. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. All the mechanics around them were contrived. They were weird. They're annoying to chase after whenever you're trying to carry a flag. They've got a death save that's built into their character that gives them a cooldown on top of that. Fuck that, man. Demon Hunt- Vengeance Demon Hunters are going down to a fucking D. They are trash. Moon Boys. Moon Boys are an S. Moon Boys are 100% an S. Moon Boys are completely original. They are uh, probably one of the coolest specs in the game. I'm going to say they're definitely cooler than Demon Hunters. Maybe not as cool as a, as a Blood DK, but like pretty close. Uh, Moon Boys have always been a meme. And they will always be a meme. They will always be a fucking meme. And you know why? Because they look fucking stupid. They've always looked stupid. They've looked stupid ever since the day that they got added into the game. And you know why? Because that's what people love. People love how stupid they look. Ooh, flap! Flap their wings! It's so good. Is it may Glyph of Stars? That's stupid. You shouldn't be allowed. They should take that out of the game. They'd take Glyph of Stars out of the game. I, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it at all. So yeah, we're going to put Moon Boys as an S. Feral. I'm going to give Feral a B. Okay. Feral is good at two things. Being annoying and running away. I hate the way Feral plays. I fucking hate it. I've always fucking hated it. It's always annoyed the shit out of me. And I just... It, 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 it. I don't... I, I don't want to... I, it, it, I don't like this, dude. I don't like this shit at all. And yes, this is probably because I play a warrior. Yeah, you're completely fucking right. But I hate it. I'm, I might put him down as a fucking... Guy. All right. Guardian Druid. I like Guardian Druid. Now, how much do I like Guardian Druid? Not a lot. I'm going to put Guardian Druid as better than Feral, but I still think that it's a B, it, it's B tier. Here's the reason why I think that it's B tier. Guardian Druid 
over the course of the year, listen to what I'm saying. Blizzard originally had the idea of the three tanks. So you had the Paladin tank, you had the Guardian Druid, and you had the Warrior. Guardian Druids had a lot of health and they were able to absorb huge, huge individual hits. Warriors had really great on-demand survivability cooldowns, and this is a Burning Crusade, and Wrath they didn't as much, like, Paladins were better. But um, they basically had really good uh, mitigation, they could always block an attack. And then Paladins were great at AoE tanking, they could provide other bonuses to the raid, and they could do a lot of damage. So every tank had its own identity. And I think over the years, Guardian Druids have lost their niche and their identity in the game. Like, whenever I play a Guardian Druid, I feel stupid. Because I don't really think that there's any... Like, why am I doing this? Why am I playing a Guardian Druid? Doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah, they're losing their identity. Druids are the tankiest. All specs have lost their identity, though? Not really. I think Blood DKs have done a decent job to keep it. Moon Boys have done a decent job to keep it. Havoc Team Hunt Hunter has done a decent job to keep it. And so is Unholy, to an extent. Now, restoration. Restoration. I really like Resto Druids. I think they're really cool. And I think they're in A tier. The reason why I think they're A tier is because of how well they've kept their identity over the years. The ways that they can actually add to DPS as well. And also just heal with uh, HOTS and stuff like that. I like Resto way more, way less than I like Balance. Like, Balance Druids, I think, are the most original, the funniest, and some of the most iconic things in all of WoW. So, no, I'm not going to put it above uh, Balance. I, I think Resto is really cool, but I'm sorry. Like, I I'm a DPS player, okay? I'm not a fucking healer. So, uh, yeah, it's not going to beat Unholy DK either, all right? Next. Beast Mastery Hunter. I like being able to use two pets now. I like the idea of having a bunch of different pets that come out and fight with you. I think that's really cool. I think that the rotation is complete garbage. Like, Beast Mastery Hunters in, in Burning Crusade had one button for their rotation. And now, in Shadowlands, they have advanced, or in, Bur in, in BFA... They had advanced to two buttons. Beast Mastery Hunters are the main class. If I know somebody is going to play WoW, and I think that they are terrible at video games, I tell them, play a Beast Mastery Hunter. You'll get through it. It'll be okay. Every single time. I'm going to give Beast Mastery Hunters a B. I'm going to give them a B. It's the Beast Mastery Hunter and his two pets right there next to him. I think that it's a it's a very interesting idea of having the pets do all the work for you, basically. It's unique, it's cool, and I like it. Yeah, I, I think it's cool. Now, marksmanship. This is going to be a little bit of a personal opinion. But I hate playing Marksmanship. I don't know why. I just think it's stupid. I I've just never gotten into it. I, I, I know like some of you guys that are like Hunter mains, you love it. I really don't like it. I don't know why. I, I, just, I just don't like it. I've never liked it. It's never been a point in time where I've enjoyed the spec. I like Beast Mastery Hunter way more. It gives you way more movement. I feel like you can play with your pets way more. There's like more customization. Marksmanship Hunter is like, hey, look at me, I got a bow. Who gives a fuck? It's just not for me, man. Marksmanship is getting a fucking C. I don't like it. It's my opinion. This is my opinion, okay? I know some people might not care, but this is my opinion. Now, the next one we're going to look at here is Survival Hunter. Let me just move all these down so it's not confusing for people. Survival Hunter, I think, is one of the interesting specs in the game because Blizzard actually tried to make survival legitimate, and they tried to make it a melee spec. 
I think they did a relatively decent job at it. I think that it's kind of cool. The original Survival Hunter I thought was absolute complete garbage. I thought it was complete fucking garbage. Oh, you put a dot on them and then you have explosive shot. Shut up. It's trash. Absolute garbage. I had to play it back in the day for Mr. Pandaria challenge modes and I hated it. I didn't like I didn't like it. I don't know what can I, what can I say? I didn't like it. I didn't like having to worry about like over uh, like eating your own like whenever you have the explosive shot, you want to hold off and not shoot the next one. I said fuck that, dude. I said fuck that, dude. Like that's a 100% fuck that, dude. But the new survival, the new survival. I think I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it a solid. I'm gonna give it right. I'm gonna put it right here. The reason I'm gonna put it right here. Here's why. It's because Blizzard went out of their way to take a chance and do something completely new. The new survival is, for all intents and purposes, a new class. They redesigned that from the ground up. And I think that it's relatively good. Now, is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. But it's okay. And I think okay is good enough. And they tried and failed. The reason why Blizzard failed is simple. It's because Beast Mastery Hunters are fucking broken. Like, the pets do all the damage, and you don't do anything with the pets. So, all you have to do is sit there, AFK, and you're doing 50% of your effective damage. Like, that's why that you, you can't... It's because they're Malay. If they weren't Malay, then it would be fine. Listen, I think, I think survival is a cool spec, okay? I, I do think it's a cool spec, but... I, I, I'm not really, not really a huge, huge fan of it, right? Uh, I don't play it myself. I like Beast Mastery more, but I think that it's cool. It's a really cool spec, and I applaud Blizzard for trying to do something different. Arcane. Now let me go ahead and say something, okay? The Arcane Dream, for most of its history, has been a nightmare. It's been trash. Arcane, for most points in time and WoW, sucked. It's either... Here's, here's what Arcane is. Arcane is either at the top of the meter, or it's at the bottom. There's never a point where Arcane is just in the middle chugging along. Arcane is either just dumpstering people, like there's nobody's fucking business, it's completely broken, and it's insane... Or, it just sucks. Arcane, I think, is a spec that Blizzard almost got its identity right with mana management. And like Wrath of the Lich King somewhere around there. But for some reason, I think Blizzard has never really zeroed in on what makes an arcane mage an arcane mage. I would say that the closest thing that they ever got to recapturing that was in Legion. I think Legion Arcane Mage was really interesting and really cool. Uh, I didn't really like Mr. Pandaria Arcane a whole lot. I know why a lot of people did, but it was never really for me. Uh, I, I thought there were a few, like that little thing, it's like basically a little sperm that would fly around and hit people. Like that was kind of cool, but that was about it. Yeah. <sighs> wait, wait, BFA Arcane? Maybe. Arcane, yeah, the Prismatic Crystal and Wad. Uh, I didn't really like Prismatic Crystal. Uh, I know other people did, I get that, but it was just never really something that I thought was cool. Anyway, we're gonna put Arcane. I'm gonna give Arcane a B. Because it's a spec that- it's a spec that could, it's a spec that should, and it's a spec that very rarely ever has. It's a B. It's a low B, too. Yeah, that's what's up. Now, Fire. I'm gonna have to say, guys, I think that BFA Fire Mage was one of the best specs that Blizzard has ever made. It is one of the coolest specs to play. It was fucking badass. That the end of 8.3 BFA Fire Mage was so fucking badass. It was so cool. And then, yes, the, the Fire Mage from uh, Legion was really good. Fire Mage, at the very beginning of the game, like in, in Burning Crusade and also in... Vanilla WoW, besides like Nax and stuff like that, Fire Mage really didn't come into its own until way later on in the game. And now I think Fire Mage is a long dick spec. 
Fire Mage is 100% a long dick spec. And I would say that Fire Mage is probably an S tier spec. I genuinely think that Fire Mage is an S tier spec. It looks, and here's why. Because it looks cool. Like this is another thing that people don't think about. It looks cool. Whenever you're using, whenever you're doing your fireballs, you're on fire. And you're like, blah, 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 blah. that's cool, man. Too big cast time, it's annoying. That's why it's badass, man. Popping that G Pie, dude, I love G Pie. I think that's one of the coolest abilities in the fucking game. Back in BFA, it was so badass. I think a hundred percent, a hundred percent, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do Fire Mage as an as an S tier spec. Right? It's so good, man. I love it. You want to have those long casts because you want them sitting in that poly, and you want to see that cast bar. <laughs> And them knowing that they are about to get fucked in the ass. And they have to just sit there and wait for it. It's so good, man. It's so fucking good. Now, Frost Mage. Frost Mage in Wrath of the Lich King and Frost Mage in Legion were two of the greatest and most incredible specs that this game has ever had. However, many of the time after and before Frost Mage, it was pretty much trash. I it was just it's it's just I don't know why. Like it just it, it relies around slowing you and rooting you in place and just hitting you. I think that it's trash, man. Like what I'm saying is like there were times where Frost Mage was so fucking cool. Frost Mage was like one of the most badass specs to play. I, I think it warrior bias. Actually, yes. Where is it? Where's the? Uh, let me see if I still have this video up. This was me back in the day. Fast enough. See, I I choreographed for my warrior. This heroic strike. He goes no. Moral strike. He goes like this. <laughs> just, just get, get to it. Actually, this is why I do it. I'm, a, I'm fighting a mage. It's like, it's like not enough rage. Not enough rage. You cannot do that ability yet. Not enough rage. Ah! Oh! That's when I die. So, yes. This has been a long-standing resentment. Frost Mage is a D. It's the worst spec in the game. It's the worst. It's the worst spec in the, it's the. It's the worst one. There's never been a spec in the game that's been worse than Frost Mage. Yep, hundred percent, hundred percent. That's a. That's a fucking. That's a D. All right, Brewmaster. I think Brewmaster is at least an A tier. I think Brewmaster is at least an A tier. The reason why I think Brewmaster is an A tier is that it mixes the aesthetic of what a, uh, it mixes the aesthetic of kind of like the, the idea of a monk and getting drunk and, and drinking and stuff. And all of the abilities fit together thematically and stylistically so fucking well. Brewmaster is 100%, I think, a great spec. And in my opinion, I think it's the best monk spec. It is the coolest and best monk spec. I'm gonna say Brewmaster is up here as an S. Now, Mist Weaver. I think Mist Weaver sucks dick. And you know why I think that it sucks dick? It's because it sucks dick. It's built around running away, playing like a little pussy bitch. They suck. They put down that stupid little totem. I hate looking at that. I hate even knowing that it exists. Mistweavers are trash. I've never liked them. They're annoying. And they used to be even more annoying, if you can believe that. They get to teleport around. They're built around running away. It's a pussy spec. 
It's getting a- it's getting a C. Yeah, it's getting a fucking C. Now, Windwalker. I'm alright with Windwalker. It, it's okay to me, I guess. Uh, I hate playing against it. I really do. But I think that the way that it plays and everything is very well designed. And I think that overall, it does fit the monk fantasy. I think that Windwalker is an A tier at least spec. Yeah, it is fun to play. I, I think it's an A tier spec. Somewhere around there. Holy Paladin. I think that Holy Paladins... Do you have to use Holy Power right now as a Holy Paladin? Do you have to use Holy Power or not? Yes? Okay, then it's a C. Uh, I, I, y y combo points as a fucking healer? Yeah, right. Yeah, fucking right, dude. I remember back, dude, I used to love healing on my Paladin back at Wrath of the Lich King, dude. You would just sit there, and you'd get all the glyphs on, all the mana reduction, and then, like, all the MP5, and you'd just bomb Holy Lights on people. That tank would never fucking die. You'd do a judgment on the boss, and it would give everybody light, and then you'd see those numbers popping up everywhere, all that green shit. You could solo heal a whole fucking dungeon, and then Cataclysm comes out, and they pull this horse shit with combo points. Who the fuck? wants combo points as a goddamn healer. Nobody. It's trash. I hated it. It made me mad. And then as the entire time, the only thing that's cool about Holy Paladins now, the only thing that's keeping them out of the fucking D range is the fact that they can pop cooldowns and go into offense. That is the only cool thing about them. Everything else about them is Garbo. 100% fucking Garbo. Now, Protection Paladin. Protection Paladin. I already know what I'm gonna rate this. I'll be right back. The reason why Prop Paladin is the best spec in the game, one of the best specs in the game, is because it does a lot of damage. It plays really cool. It was the first spec to be able to successfully AoE tank and AoE tank well. It has incredible utility. It has the highest tank damage of any class. Prop Paladins are my favorite tank. I love Prop Paladins. If I was gonna level up any character any fucking character for Burning Crusade, I would level up a prop paladin because they are fucking insane. They are so good. They have so much utility. There are so many things they can do and they are way, way cooler than pretty much any of the other specs, man. I love it. As combo points though, that's stupid, but everything else is really cool. And at least it's a melee class. Retribution Paladin. Okay. Let's talk about Retribution Paladin. This is an AFK class, number one. It's constantly broken and overpowered. It almost always sucks dick in raids, except for sometimes where it's completely overpowered. It's played primarily by people that think they're better than everybody else. And it survives now on a gimmick. Without Divine Toll, where would Rep be right now? Probably still decent, but not even nearly where it is now. Rep Paladins. Rep Paladins have always, and will always, be not as good as warriors. Rep Paladins want what warriors have naturally. Rep Paladins have to use all of this other extra bullshit, and all they have to use the light, whereas a warrior just has to rely on his skill and understanding of, of his, his mastery of weapons. 
Red Paladins don't have weapon mastery. They've mastered some fucking book or some shit. Who cares about that? That's that pussy shit, man. A re every Red Paladin, like, a Prop Paladin probably do more damage than most Red Paladins do. It's at the bottom. It's a joke spec. I've tried to play Rep Paladin a number of times. I think they're trying. Library? Yeah, it's a librarian, man. This bitch is sitting there reading fucking... Re reading out his book, man. The only good Rep Paladin was Tyrion. Oh, is, is, uh, uh, no, Alexandros Mulgrain was a warrior. So just th keep that in mind, too. Uh, the original Ashbringer. And then Tyrion breaks Frostmourne while we distracted the Lich King, to be honest. So it wasn't really just him. But then on top of that... He gets beat by a boss that's not even an end boss. He gets beat by Croesus. This this dude beat the Lich King, and he gets killed by a by a fucking trash mob, basically. Rat Paladins are a joke, man. Whatever happened to Uther? Think about that. Uther's a bitch. Uther got bitch made by Arthas. And then on top of that, he went to the Shadowlands and he got bitch made there too. Uther's a bitch. Tyrion got beat by a trash mob. Where's the other ones? Where's it? What where's the other one? Bluther. Where, where's the other what, what's the other good other good paladins? Oh, oh, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Tyrallion! Oh, what happened to Tyrallion? He got his sword blocked by a- by Illidan's hand! Like, imagine blocking somebody's fucking sword with your hand! With your hand, dude! Like, he just- but like, get that shit out of here, dude! I don't have time for that! Arthas? Arthas re-rolled! He re-rolled! That's- that's the whole point! The best paladin is Rex Troy. And he's not even- it's not even a lore character, it's just a player! The second best is Wow Hobbs. The third best, uh, well, I don't know, McConnell. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard to say. Okay, disciplined priests. <sighs> disciplined priests. What would I even rate a disciplined priest? Discipline. It's either really, really good, or just weird. And I feel like all the time, it's either one or the other. It's very rarely are disciplined priests actually just like straight up consistently good. They're either top of the meter or bottom of the meter. I like the idea of how discipline plays. And because of that, I'm going to give discipline. I'm going to give it like a, I'm going to give it a high B. I, I like discipline a lot. I think it's a really cool, uh, it's a really cool spec. Actually, you know what? I like it more than resto. I like it more than Resto, personally. And it's probably my second favorite healing spec, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna put it a little bit higher than Resto because I think it's interesting. Now, Holy Priest. What do I think of Holy Priest? I think Holy Priest is stupid. I think that it's just a trash spec. It's a D. Uh, I'm gonna say Holy Priest is a D spec. It doesn't make any sense to me. It's annoying. It's boring. It's just like... They have like a few cool abilities and other than that, like the last time that Holy Priest was relevant was in like Vanilla WoW. I, I, I don't like it. No, I, I, I just don't like it. I, I don't fucking like it at all. The well. Yeah, I, I, I just think Discipline is way cooler to play. It's way more interesting. Holy Priest is dumb. How many times I saved your ass with grab? Uh, never, because I don't get, I don't, I don't do mechanics wrong. So I never... Honestly, you know what? I'm going to put it even lower now. Now that you reminded me that they have grab, I'm putting it lower than... Uh, it's not lower than red, but like, I I'm going to put it lower. Yeah, that reminded me. Fuck that shit. I hate that shit. All right, we've got, uh, we got Shadow Priest here. Shadow Priest in Legion was fucking amazing. It was so cool. Shadow Priest in Vanilla WoW was so cool. Shadow Priest in... in I didn't like Shadow Priest in BFA. I thought Shadow Priest in BFA was stupid. How I haven't played the new because they redo Shadow because like they don't know what they want to do with Shadow Priest. Is Shadow Priest fun to play now? Because like I don't really know. 
I, I honestly don't know. What well, I'll let you guys decide where this one goes. Because I don't I, I've never really been like a huge fan of Shadow Priest, but no, I do think it's cool. High A tier? Yeah. Okay. We'll put it right here. Now we have this one here. What is this? Assassination? Yeah, it's assassination. Now assassination. What do I think about this one? I always thought it was kind of stupid, to be honest with you. I always thought assassination was just kind of... It was just fucking, it was fucking boring, dude. It's a boring spec. Like, it was really cool in, like, BC whenever you got Mutilate, and it was really good in Wrath, too. But recently, assassination, I just feel like doesn't really have much of a... Uh, it, it just doesn't... Like, subtlety and assassination, thematically, what's really the difference between the two of them? Nothing, really. I just... I don't think assassination has a place right now. I don't think Blizzard really knows the the poisons. Yeah, I guess you do have the poisons. Yeah, that's true. That is that is true. The poisons. I just don't. I, I don't know if I really like the poisons though. I feel like the poisons that rogues have, it just doesn't really feel cool. Like back in the day, the original crippling poison was really really strong. And I think that over the course of time of them trying to balance the game, they made the rogue poisons and the cool things that rogues could do with their poisons, they made them less relevant and they made them less powerful. And I think that indirectly made assassination more boring. So yeah, it, it's bleeds only now. I don't know. Like it, it's, it's just not, it's a 70%. It's a 70, even if it's a 70% slow now, I don't think it is all the time, number one. I think it's like, a, I don't remember. I, I really don't remember. But like now, everybody has like eight different gap closers. So it's completely different than it was back then. I'm going to give Assassination this. I'm giving it a low C. Uh, I don't think the spec really has that great of an identity right now. And I think Blizzard needs to decide how to do a better job on how to make it better. Outlaw. Outlaw Rogue. I think Outlaw Rogue is really cool. I think it is a bad ass spec. I love Outlaw Rogue. Like, I, I know some people might not be big fans of it or whatever for like its damage, but like the theme of Outlaw Rogue, the way that it plays and everything like that, I think that is a 100% S. That is a 100 fucking percent S. It is a really cool spec. You've got the gun with it as well. I remember whenever it came out in Legion, it was really fucking fun to play. It was cool. It was a cool spec, man. Yes, I do know that, like, the Roll the Bones... I don't mind Roll the Bones. Here's why I don't mind Roll the Bones. It's because every other spec doesn't have something like Roll the Bones, in a way. And because Outlaw has that one crazy thing that they can do... I actually think that's cool. And you don't have to play like that if you don't want to. I'm going to give Outlaw... I'm going to put it right here. I think Outlaw is one of the better specs in the game. Subtlety. Alright, let's talk about subtlety. I, I like it a lot. Combat was cooler? No, it wasn't. Uh, combat was trash. It's a trash spec. You guys really like subtlety. Why do you guys like it? Can I ask that? Why? Why do you? What do you like about subtlety? Yeah. What? What, what do you like? It? Shadow step. It deletes people. Here's my opinion on subtlety. I think it's a dog shit dick sucking spec, and I think the only reason why it's relevant is a legendary from Legion that got repurposed for Shadowlands. I think that it's completely built around one gimmick. It's it's trash. It's a it's a it's a pussy spec. Oh, let me just <laughs> and then you run away. You attack, and then you fucking vanish. You do it again. It's it's a it's it's a pussy spec. The way people play it are pussies. Like, it is a hundred percent. This is like, I, I hate it. I, I, I hate it. I hate this shit, man. It's such garbage. And also, I think the way that it's designed is so contrived. It's so gimmicky. Oh, well, you have a huge amount of damage in this tiny little window. It just sucks. I, I hate that. It plays so badly for PvP. I don't like it. There are some cool things about it. I will give it a B. Okay? And I'm being very generous. Now next. Elemental. 
Elemental. I think Elemental is one of the coolest specs in the game. I think Elemental... Being able to spam Chain Lightnings and electrocute the shit out of people and hit them with those big dick Earth Shocks, having the different elements fight with you as well, being able to heal your teammate, turn into a Ghost Wolf, uh, knock people back with Thunderstorm. Like, everything about Elemental, I think, is actually so well designed. I really, really love Elemental. It is so fucking cool, man. I, I remember whenever they added, they, they removed the cooldown on Chain Lightning, dude. It was like... At that point, man, it was like fucking open to fucking floodgates, man. People were popping off. They were loving it, man. It was so badass. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put Elemental right under the Moon Boy. I think overall, Moon Boys are a little bit better than Elemental. But Elemental Shaman is one of my favorite specs in the game. I fucking love it. I fucking love it, dude. Now, obviously, it's not really in a great spot right now. But... I'd say historically with like lightning lasso and shit like that, like Elemental Shaman is really cool and I do like it and I think that it deserves a pretty high rating. It is good now? No, I, no, I don't mean the damage. I mean the play style. All right, next. Enhancement Shaman. Enhancement Shaman. It's just not as cool as Elemental. That's all there is to it. It's just simply not as cool as Elemental. I know some people might not like hearing that. You used to be able to use a one-handed, a two-handed weapon and go around one-shotting people, and it was fucking badass. Nowadays, you can't do that anymore. You're stuck dual-wielding like a little bitch. And I'm tired of it. It's boring. There's nothing really cool that, uh, that Enhancement can do that Elemental can't do better. I think Enhancement is a shitty spec. I don't like it. I think that it's dumb. I've never liked it. I'm going to put Enhancement as a B. It's a boring spec. Now. A low B as well. A low B. Now. Restoration. You guys may or may not know this. But Restoration is actually my favorite healing spec in the game. I think Resto Shamans are the coolest healer in the entire game. I love being able to do Chain Heal. I used to love back in Wrath of the... Dude, Mista Pandaria Shaman. Like, Mista Pandaria Resto Shaman was the coolest spec. One of the, like, top five probably coolest specs that Blizzard has ever made. It was fucking... It was so good, man. It was so good. Everything about it was so good. You could go into Ascendancy. You should drop t uh, the, the fucking Healing Tide. You had, like, the fucking Echo of the Elements. You would spam that. You could do Chain Heal. You could do Riptide. You could do fucking Lightning Bolts and get your mana back. You could drop a fucking Healing Rain down. Everybody could stack up, and you could see those green things. It was so good. It's one of the best specs, man. I think it's better than, I think it's better than Elemental. I really do. I love Resto Shaman. It's my favorite fucking healer. It's big good. It is big good. Now. Now we get on to Warlocks. Affliction is probably my favorite Warlock spec. The reason why I like it is I like the idea that you can kill somebody without looking at them. It is so cool to me. I like the idea of being able to dot everybody up and then just tick them down or put all your dots on one person and burn them down. I like the self-heal element that Affliction has where if you're fighting somebody and you can, you can literally fucking drain the life out of them while you're fighting them, that's so fucking badass. And you had like that fucking BFA talent that made your drain lives do more damage. It was so, so, so good, man. It was amazing. Affliction's not a pussy spec, but sub is. Of course it's not. Because Affliction, you're standing there. They know where you're at, but you, they can't do anything to you because you're getting healed by eight different Siphon Lifes. You're just sitting there chilling, putting dots up, doing whatever the fuck you want to do. 
Subtlety's sitting over there behind the fence. Oh, I hope he doesn't see me. I hope he doesn't see me. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stab him. I'm gonna take him down to 70% health. I'm gonna get dotted and I can't go into stealth again. <laughs> Give me a fucking break. Affliction is amazing. I love Affliction. It is one of my favorite specs. It's going right there as an S tier spec. Demonology. Demonology. I hate demonology. It plays like trash. And you want that the small every once in a while demonology is like super overpowered like what the fuck this this thing is it's so good but all the rest of the time it sucks and the one time or sorry the individual times that it's really really good the reason why it's so good is because blizzard makes some sort of mistake and there's like something that's broken with the class like chaos wave at the beginning of, of missa pandaria or being able to use that trinket from lee shen with curse of doom or some other weird bullshit it's never actually just good it's always some fucking bullshit that makes it good demonology got cut by by demon hunters demon hunters literally stole the coolest thing that demonology had and they just took it for themselves. I'm not going to vote a cuck spec anything above a fucking D. Okay? It is a straight up motherfucking D. Yeah, this is a motherfucking D. Now, destruction. Destruction. Destro. I think that Destro in BFA was one of the most dangerous and deadly specs in the entire game. Not only could it heal for more damage than healers could heal for, not only could it deal more damage than DPS could deal, but it could also tank better than most tanks. I really like the way Chaos Bolt plays. I like the idea of, you know, I'm a charge in my laser. Like, they're, they're getting that big dick cast off, and you see it coming, and you've got that big green piece of shit that's just coming at you. It's so, so good. I really, really like Demonology, but I do think, I do think that it's not quite as good as Fire Mage. I think Fire Mage is just a little bit cooler than Demonology. Demonology, the coolest thing about it is the fact that you can just be a complete moron and play it. Like, you can be a complete moron and play it. Fire Mage, or sorry, Destruction, I mean Destruction, sorry, I don't even like it. Yeah, Destruction, 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 Destruction. The main thing with Destruction, I, I don't know why I keep saying it. The main thing is, like, I used to watch Drake Dog, and it was so cool to watch him play. And even in, in Vanilla WoW, Destruction can have, like, these crazy pop-off moments. But a lot of times, Destruction doesn't really do a whole lot. It's mostly like the consistent spec is Affliction. Affliction is always that spec that'll just completely fucking blow other people away. I don't really like Destruction a whole lot, but I think Chaos Bolt and the way that Chaos Bolt plays is really good. I remember playing Destruction back in Mists of Pandaria, and it was one of the coolest specs ever. I remember trying to leech my way into Siege of Orgrimmar guild raids so people would default me gear and give me all of the good stuff from the raid. And it was the only class that I got my legendary cloak on besides my warrior in Mists of Pandaria. And I had every class maxed out, but Destruction was the only one because of how cool it was. Now we get to the best, uh, the best specs. All right, warrior. Arms Warrior is one of the best specs in the game. I think everybody knows that. I, I think it's just everybody just they just we we just we know this to be true, and it's so powerful that you have little babies crying. These little these little destruction warlock babies crying on the forums. 
because, oh, we only got a whole expansion of being overpowered. Oh, we can't, or two expansions of being overpowered. We can't be bad again. But warriors, warriors sometimes, arms warriors are not really that great. But the players that play them, the players that stick with them, they are the true warriors. An arms warrior is, in my opinion, one, it's one of the best specs. It really is. I'm going to put arms warrior right here. Arms warrior is going to be actually, yeah, yeah, I'll put arms warrior right there. This is a fair spec. <clears throat> this is a fair decision. It's really cool. When was it ever bad? Uh, uh, season five, like for example, like there's plenty of plenty of times Arms Warrior was not that good. Now also, this is it's not biased. This is completely true. Fury, Fury Warriors. Think about it like this. Fury Warriors are the strongest spec in the entire game. They can literally dual wield two-handed weapons. They have more health than anybody else in the entire game. Fury Warriors are fucking badass just to look at. If you see a fully decked out character, there's nothing that's gonna get your dick harder than if it's a Fury Warrior who's dual wielding corrupted Ashbringers. Fury is the most badass spec in the game. It's cool to play. It looks good. You get free whirlwinds. You can jump all over the place. You can heal yourself. It's totally fucking badass. Fury is an incredibly good spec. I really like Fury Warrior a lot. It's the best spec. Now, Prot Warrior. I think that Prot Warrior I think it sucks. I do. I think Prot Warrior sucks. Here's why I think it sucks. Is because every other tank has that cool thing they can do. Besides Spell Reflection, what do Prot Warriors really have? The only reason that it was really good back in vanilla is because there was no other competition. That's the truth, is that there was no other competition. The moment that any other, any other class got a tanking spec, it was immediately better than Prot Warrior. Like, it, it, Shield Block is cool? No, it's not. That's bullshit. Uh, shield block? Who gives a fuck? Prop out and has holy shield. And it does damage. Fuck that. Prot sucks. Ignore pain? Arms has that. Fury has that. Ignore pain is trash. The only thing that was cool about warriors, prot warriors, the only time prot warriors were cool was at the end of Wrath of the Lich King, where you could stock full armor pin gear as a prot warrior and get 20k crits, number one. Number two is during Siege of Orgrimmar, where prot warriors were literally so overpowered and you had like this other... It was, it was, I forgot what it was. It was like maybe... Maybe it was in... Uh, in Legion, where like you could heal for huge amounts, and on top of being able to heal for huge amounts, you were able to put up these massive shield barriers like, Prot Warriors had very small moments in the sun where they were something different than just a dipshit with a shield. But for the most, for, the, for most of the, its period in time, Prot Warriors have just been Garbo. They, they're just boring. Like, look at, like, in BFA. When was Prot Warrior good? From the quap. From the quap. From the quap. From the quap. Over and over and over. That's all it was, man. Does this seem accurate? Does this seem accurate, gentlemen? Finish the list? I did. I did. This is the finish list. Because, like, these are just the classes. I think specs are a better list than just the classes. We're going to watch this one video. Then after that, we're going to do the mount off.